So what we are going to do, my friends, is write a joke using the word of the day, which is primary. Let's try to see if we can get that from bouncing. Today we are using the Pilot G2 Blue. We are doing the Pilot G2 Blue. So let's get into it, my friends. Welcome to the Right 10 Club. So we have 10 minutes on the clock. The name of the game is to write a new joke in 10 minutes based on a single word. Today's word is primary. Today's date is a ninth. Today's the ninth, right? So for the next 10 minutes, all we are focusing on is writing a joke using the word primary. Good morning, Aaron Despiva. He said, good morning, right tenors. Good to see you, fam. What's goody? What's goody to all my right tenors out there? And for the next 10 minutes, let us write. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Primary. Okay, so primary. I always start with what I think of, what do I associate when I hear the word primary. So, let me try to move this camera over. I'm gonna be leaning forward. Oh, that's great. I guess I won't be leaning forward. All right, let's try to write like this. Um, So primary, what comes to mind is first, what comes to mind is elections, what comes to mind is voting. You can also think of common phrases, common words um makes you think of things in the zeitgeist makes you think of cultural norms or not norms just whatever comes to mind with the word primary list it out spit it out um a common phrase primary reason primary candidate and as you are brainstorming you can also think of what is the opposite as well so like primary means first okay so maybe right last first and last also may make you think of you know gold medal um participation trophy maybe something there uh, looks like Lance said primary school. There we go. I think is that um is that like elementary school? I believe. Um, I just look like a youth pastor. I'm not, so I'm not hip to all the the kid terms. Um, primary school, primary colors says Juan. There we go. El primero colores. Los primero colores. Uh, por ejemplo, a uh, mota es verde. That is the extent of my Spanish. I learned in a kitchen. So, those are the kind of words that I know. Um, prime ribs. Yeah, primary ribs, perhaps. Cool, we're getting a lot of good things out. Um, I was thinking of um, and, uh, la mota es uh, muchos colores, pero uh, verde y uh, roja y uh, como se dice. Purple, you don't know what to say. Gasolina. All right, anyway, let's let's focus here. My ADD just went on a run there. So primary elections, voting first, last. Gold medal for top, um, participation trophy. Prime interest rates. I'm really trying to stick to the actual word. And I know it can be flexible with how you want to write it, but I like to stick to the word as specifically as possible. Primary caregiver? 
Okay. Okay, Jesse. Uh, Dean said primary teeth. Very nice. Caregiver. So maybe with primary caregiver, maybe there's a joke around being the oldest or being the only child. Um, makes you gold medal participation trophy. I'm just trying to think of like primary. A joke using primary school could be something about flunking out of college and being like, relax, that was just my primary school. Um, and then it could be like your reach school. Um, so as we're getting to five minutes, I usually like to brainstorm the first five minutes and then um, construct the joke in the second. So do y'all have something that sticks out here? Bob Kirk said primary lover. Oh, Ooh. my heavens. So, primary reason, primary candidate, primary school, primary color. That would be white. Um, as in like first, you know, it, there could be a joke on like the white devil there perhaps. You know, there could be something interesting there. Um, primary ribs, primary teeth. Vote in the primaries. So now we're trying to primary reason. So it could be my mission is to inspire people to vote. That's my primary reason for living. Okay, so I mean, we're just getting the ideas out here. We're just finding connections. We're just seeing what we can make stick here. My mission is to inspire people to vote. That's my primary reason for living. Um, Oh, Prime, Amazon Prime, Amazon Primary. And there could be voting. You could vote. There is a, in joke writing of like trying to remix two words. So it could be like inspiring people to vote. It could be voting for an election, but you could remix that into voting on America's Got Talent. Um, voting on like a BuzzFeed article. Um, primary contact is another good word there, Caleb. I like that. So in the last three minutes here, let's start to really whittle this down. I haven't really honed in on a specific idea or joke I'm trying to construct. I kind of played around with, my mission is to inspire people to vote. That's my primary reason for living. I think if we were to do that, it would need to end on primary reason. Because you always want to end your jokes on the punch line, on the punch word. I think a mistake a lot of young comics make is that they try, they say the punch line and then keep talking. You want to end on that word. So how could we end with primary reason or primary vote? Um, so, I, you know. My wife, it could be something like, my wife asked me, we should vote early in the primaries. Or like, what's your primary reason for living? And it could be like, to avoid voting. Um, exercising my right not to vote is one. But my wife and I voted early.
there could be a race joke there if um if like everyone on the ballot was white maybe that's like a primary color thing um primary teeth primary color primary school primary candidate primary reason Oh, the primary voting was done in the primary school? Yeah, I like that, Caleb. So in the final minute here, let's try to whittle something together here. So my mission is to inspire people to vote. That's my primary reason for living. I don't hate that. I think we just need to misdirect it a little bit more. I tell everyone to vote. Ooh, it could be, I don't understand people that don't vote. It's our primary reason for living. And I still am not ending on primary reason. So, how could we end on it? People don't vote. Speaking of ending, we have arrived. So I don't get people that don't vote. Primary reason. I don't get why people don't vote. Primary reason? Um, I don't get why people don't vote. Cool. Well, the closest thing we got was my mission is to inspire people to vote. That's my primary reason for living. So, a few things I didn't do here and is a big reason why we didn't really get to a specific ending. One thing, or specific, like a, a, a joke, specifically. Uh, one thing, um, at the end of the day, the more you write, like the more chances you give yourself to write a joke. You know, in all the interviews I've done, People say you write 20 jokes and end up keeping one of them. So just statistically, if you sit down to write a single joke in 10 minutes, most likely you're not going to find something. But it's all about practicing and exercising that writing muscle. Now, a few things I could have done to really move this along and, you know, really uh, maximize my chances of finding a good joke. One, um actually focusing. I was kind of all over the place a little bit. So just focusing on the task at hand. Two though, asking myself, what is the premise of my joke? I never really honed in on what am I trying to say here? I did a bunch of brainstorming, kind of made a silly connection here. Never really was like, okay, well, what is the premise? What am I trying to say here? Because if you don't know the premise, the audience isn't going to know the premise and they're most definitely not going to know to laugh because there's not going to be a joke. And then the third thing I could have done is to think about how to personalize this. What I did here, my mission is to inspire people to vote. That's my primary reason for living. I was just trying to think of a funny wordplay, but I wasn't thinking of, okay, how does voting personally affect me? What is my personal opinion on it? What is my personal experience with this topic? I also didn't look at the other options. I just kind of ran with primary reason and thought I could whittle some sort of wordplay out of it without thinking of the premise or how I could personalize it. So that's really what happened here is I essentially just didn't even, I did a little brainstorming and then just kind of thought I would magically, you know, whittle it together. But at the end of the day, your sense of humor is uniquely yours and people say you can't teach funny, but you can teach people how to write funny, which then translates them into being funny. So I do think you can teach funny, but I do think there is an instinct and a timing to it, just like with people learning to play guitar. Not everyone's Jimi Hendrix, but people can learn how to, you know, play the guitar. It's just your competent level depends on some of your natural ability and also the amount of work you're willing to put into it. So for this joke, I just skipped a few of the, the common things I usually do. Uh, mainly because I'm a little over-caffeinated, perhaps. So, 
But that's just exercise. We do this every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. It's a live stream on this YouTube channel. So um, come on back, check out the other videos we've done as well. I have other examples of when I do do this exercise do do. <laughs> Angels on y'all. And um, have a good day out there. Cool.